Dear partners, fellow AMFC members and members of the press, a warm welcome to you all. I am Trinidad Chetty, Vice President of the Association, and I'm honored to unveil to you the details of a landmark international conference of FCM, Femme Chef d'Entreprise Mondiale. On behalf of uh, the MFC, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to the members of the press and our sponsors present here today. We exist since 1986, so we count more than 35 years of existence. AMFC is the entity which brings together women heads of businesses in Mauritius across the different sectors of the Mauritian economy. And here, I'd like to bring forward a small clarification. We actually regroup women who are leading their businesses, and this goes beyond mere entrepreneurship. Our members have full-fledged registered businesses, employing staffs and workers, and contributing directly to the economy. But we also include an entrepreneurship axis through Entreprendre au Féminin Océan Indien, EFOI, which brings together mostly women entrepreneurs from the informal sector. By and large, therefore, startups transit through EFOI, and when they have reached a certain level of business maturity, they join AMFC. AMFC is affiliated to Femme Chef d'Entreprise Mondiale, FCM, an international entity which has the same orientation as AMFC, but with a global outreach. Mm -hmm. FCM groups women heads of businesses from more than 100 countries around the world and across the five continents and has a network of a few millions of businesswomen. Each year, FCEM organizes two international meetings in member countries, the first in April, May, and the second around October, November. And we're extremely proud to be hosting the FCEM International Conference in May 2022 in Mauritius. This is the third time that we are hosting such an event in Mauritius after 2011 and 2003, which only shows the credibility of AMFC as well as the trust and confidence that the FCM family has in our small country's representation. First and foremost, the reason behind our gathering here today is to announce the holding of the FCM International Conference from the 25th to the 27th May 2022. This international conference holds a very special importance for us for another major reason. Not only shall we be welcoming the international delegation of FCEM in Mauritius, but we will also be celebrating the nomination of AMFC as the Comesa Federation of National Associations of Women in Business, COMFWEB, Mauritius, Mauritius chapter, nominated since October 2021. And as we say, one plus one rarely makes two, but usually more than two. The International Conference in May 2022 will seal the collaboration between FCEM and COMFWEB through an MOU which is being signed between the two. Within this MOU's perspective, Mauritius will be holding the very first International Indian Ocean Islands Summit of COMFWEB on the 24th of May 2022, just before the FCEM International Conference. Let me now come to the crux of today's gathering, the FCEM conference itself, scheduled between the 25th to the 27th May 2022. In practical terms, the first day will see the closed steering committee meeting on the 25th. The international conference itself starts on the 26th May 2022 and will be held at the Sofitel Mauritius Imperial Resort and Spa in Flic en Flac. The theme this year is the circular economy, women entrepreneurs as the driving force of change. This event featuring in Mauritius is crucial to us on two fronts. Firstly, the self growth and business development aspects. The conference will see panel discussions on sustainability headed by Lirika Katari, reduction, recycling and reutilization of waste to optimize on revenue generation by Shabnam Ismail, both members of AMFC, and will end with an insight into circular economy best practices in Mauritius and around the world. So we'll be raising awareness about the importance of the circular economy paradigm to ensure entrepreneurship resilience, trigger the thinking process to initiate the transition, 
and end up with an understanding of the implementation process and possibilities. The second important aspect of the international conference is the digital marketplace on the 27th May 2022 at La Place du Moulin in Belong. In a decor impregnated with the different aspects of the Mauritian culture, namely the fauna and the flora, the folklore for the Sega, the multi-ethnic realities, la fameuse case creole, the national heritage, our culinary art, etc., will be transposed and showcased our women entrepreneurs, their businesses, and their products. This will provide a very interesting forum for B2B discussions amongst the delegates and the Mauritian entrepreneurs in an attempt to boost up possibilities of market openings and global market penetration. This international conference is bringing in Mauritius an interesting crowd of business women, national presidents of associations, federations of women heads of businesses, some references in the circular economy theme, and I'll mention a few words, a few names, sorry, Marie-Christine Ugli, FCM World President, Maureen Subway, Comfweb Chair, Ruth Negash, Comfweb CEO, Sofia Smitran, one of the leaders in the implementation of the circular economy paradigm in Croatia, national presidents, Jen Earl of the USA, Karine Rouvier from France, Joanna Udrouge from Monaco, Nasrin Awal from Bangladesh, Lilith Astrian from Armenia, Andrea Plawitski from Australia, Emin Erdem from Turkey, Eva Blumenthal from the Czech Republic, Renata Kiska from Slovenia, Marie Ines Dolci from Brazil, Sineta Entube Agnes Epse from Cameroon, amongst others. We are also proud to have the support of key players in the Mauritian economy through our sponsors, who have responded very constructively and positively to our demands. And I'd especially like to mention, amongst others, the Mauritius Commercial Bank, our long-standing partner, already a collaborator on the Business Without Borders program, and two new additions on the way, the Rogers Group and the Karimji Group. And I'd like to end by emphasizing that we are extremely honored that the Prime Minister, Honorable Pravin Kumar Jagnot, will be launching the event on the 26th May 2022. The Minister of Gender Equality, Mrs. Kalpana Devi Kundusha, will have a keynote address on the same day, and Mrs. Kobita Jagnot will be launching the digital marketplace on the 27th May 2022. FCEM, c'est un cadeau du ciel, c'est un héritage de la Deuxième Guerre mondiale aux femmes entrepreneurs. Elle a été créée en 1945, quand les hommes sont partis à la guerre et les femmes étaient restées toutes seules et il fallait vraiment quelqu'un pour gérer l'entreprise. Donc la fondatrice de FCEM, c'est Madame Yvonne Foinon de France qui a eu l'idée de dire « allons nous réunir ». Et là, elle est allée voir ses copines en Allemagne, euh, au Canada, euh, il y a neuf pays en tout, la Belgique, dans le et voilà comment est née euh, la FCEM. Et aujourd'hui, avec cet héritage, je crois qu'il faut reconnaître que Maurice a su se faire sa place au sein de l'organisation. Donc cette session du 26 mai va permettre à, à notre audience d'entrepreneurs euh, locales et surtout internationales de créer de meilleures synergies, mais aussi pour ceux qui ne sont pas dans ce domaine et qui s'y intéresse, de se familiariser sur la nécessité de revoir ses ressources pour faire cette transition climatique un succès. Et aussi, c'est aussi une opportunité d'affaires pour les femmes entrepreneuses, parce que, que l'on veuille ou non, et c'est vraiment recherche à l'appui, on le voit, les femmes entrepreneuses pas, ne voient pas l'entrepreneuriat le, de la même façon. Il y a cette notion du « purpose » qui est très importante et c'est cette même notion « of doing good » qu'ils qu amènent dans le business aussi bien qu'à la maison. Donc nous, par ce, par ce panel, on veut sensibiliser les femmes qui ne sont peut-être pas dans ce domaine aussi à revoir leur business model pour aller beaucoup plus vers l'économie circulaire et aussi encourager des projets à, à impact social et bien sûr, à terme, jouer un plus grand leadership role au niveau aussi bien national qu'international. Recycling is actually an economic system. 
ça n'est pas juste pour sauver la planète. Oui, c'est le besoin ultime et primaire. Mais au-delà de ça, it's a revenue generating business. So we can make money out of recycling. The thing is, we need to maybe understand the gist of it, how to recycle, how to go about the ins and outs of the whole recycle uh, myth. That's why we call it a myth, because it's, it looks like so mysterious and everybody does it, but nobody really does it. So until it's implemented at a national level, we literally need to do it ourselves. Let us now hear from the FCM World President, Mrs. Marie-Christine Ogli, French Order of Merit. Le mobilier auprès des institutions internationales, que ce soit les Nations Unies, que ce soit le Parlement européen de Strasbourg, mais également auprès des, des gouvernements, des ministères de, de l'économie, et puis auprès de toutes les institutions d'employeurs de, de dans les différents pays, que ce soit l'employeur homme ou femme, mais aussi le monde auprès d'eux, pour la promotion des femmes chefs d'entreprise dans le monde économique. La deuxième action, c'est bien entendu de permettre aux femmes chefs d'entreprise de développer leur activité de, en termes de faire business. Et puis, euh, d'accompagner les amis les femmes chefs d'entreprise pour euh, développer leur structure, mais pas uniquement sur le plan du chiffre d'affaires, mais sur euh, le développement personnel également. C'est pour ça que nous faisons du mentorat comme le programme qui on behalf of MCB, I'm delighted to be here today to address you about this exciting opportunity which beckons for Mauritius and female entrepreneurs to the holding of the FCM World Committee next month. Our positioning as Platinum Expensor for this uh, forthcoming event was a natural as leaves to a tree as during the last two years, MCB has worked closely with AMFC by supporting its Business Without Borders program. Rogers Group uh, has for a very long time tried to make sustainability sustainable. One of my colleagues uh, just mentioned uh, that uh, it is not okay for us to continue on initiatives which do well uh, for the profits but not for the planet and for the planet but not for the people. All the three things have to go together. We're very happy and proud to be associated with MC for the organization of this um, international event. Happy and proud because I think the theme resonates with what the group is and stands for. Um, and I believe it's around three key themes. Um, the last 132 years, KMG has been known for its entrepreneurship power. We shall now see our sponsors, release our sponsors. Our institutional sponsors, EDB, Air Mauritius, MTPA, Australian Embassy, and American Embassy. Silver sponsors, IBL Together, Spoon Consulting, the Concrete Ag Agency. Bronze Sponsors, Terra, Medin, Phoenix Beverages, GFA Insurance, Oxenam, Polytol Paints, Ceridian. And of course, all our AMFC members who have all contributed in their own ways. Thank you. <laughs>